Okay, we're going to take a look at how to control the animations through our graph editor. So what we have here is we've expanded the graph editor and we're selecting our first animation. And essentially we just have two squares just moving across the screen. Um, and anytime you plant a animation inside of After Effects, initially it's going to be in a linear motion. Now, linear motion is not going to be real, real, realistic for any type of movement because movements just don't happen that way. So what we want to have happen here inside of After Effects is we want to control the behavior of our animation. And one very quick way to do that is using ease in and ease out. And that's influencing how the, um, the box is going to approach that last keyframe or the beginning keyframe of the animation. It's going to have a, a slowing down movement, similar to a, a car approaching a, a stoplight or a stop sign, kind of slowing down near the end. And you can decide whether or not that happens at the beginning or at the end. So if it's at the beginning, it's an ease in. If it's at the end, it's referred to as an ease out. So I'm going to just going to select this very last keyframe here, right click on it, go back into my keyframe assistant, and I'm going to choose ease in. And I'm going to select my ease out here and select the uh, very first keyframe, right click and go to ease out. And you can see automatically what's going to happen here is the not only does the graph visually display for us um, quite differently than the linear motion we had before, you're going to see kind of a hump here that once it decreases, once it nears the end of that keyframe from my one of the box at the top, it's going to kind of slow down as it approaches that last keyframe. The opposite is going to happen for the ease out as you've got the hump right here. So it's actually going to slow down at the beginning of our keyframe animation and be more of a um, consistent speed near there at the end. So as I play this, and we're not going to see the exact effects here as I play, but I'm going to do real time, just a RAM preview. But they're going to uh, land at that about the same time, but the behavior of those animations are dramatically different. That, uh, that top one, you're going to have kind of a um, slowing down there, as I said, near the end. And the bottom animation, as we look at this hop here, is on the opposite end you're going to have that slowing down there at the beginning. Um, you can also change these and actually click on the keyframe itself and modify that movement if you want to, if you want to pull that back up a little bit, give you a different style of animation. Um, same with the, uh, the last keyframe, you can even pull the handles out, which we'll look at in modifying those a little bit more in detail in, in later videos. But that's an excellent way to get started on changing and modifying the behavior of your animations inside of After Effects.